How old are you, bro? I, I swear down you're one of the younger pros, aren't you? I'm 15. No f***ing way. <laughs> no, the YouTube content, bro. Oh, prediction. I'm, I'm just... Nice. Oh, yeah. Get him one, friends, get him yes. Yes. Let's go. Holy. Hey, I am Benji Fishy. I have a course on ProGuys.com where you learn how to climb the ranks to Champions Division like I did. We've been thinking we haven't done a video on Mongrel in a while. And it's about time, right? He's been a force in the pro community for quite some time now. And he's been dominating the scene with his memes. No! Are you f***ing serious? Why the f*** is Thanos in the air? Sing, 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 sing! Sing, sing, sing! Why? Is that in the game? Sing, sing, sing! Sing, 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 sing! Oh, and with double qualification for the World Cup, Mongrel's been dominating top-tier lobbies and Twitch viewer records. Mongrel has become one of the biggest Fortnite streamers on Twitch in under a year. All right, so in this video, we're going to be adding some of our commentary and analysis and check out the new InstaPro feature on ProGuides.com where you can play with some of the top pros and learn top secret strategies that could help you do some of these same plays yourself. Let's jump right in. Okay, so for our first clip, we have Mongrel sitting on 11 eliminations when he clutches out one of the toughest games imaginable. He's left alone in the World Cup lobby with one of the hardest zone rotations and vicious players scouring all around him. We're going to learn some new building tactics that helped Mongrel get through this crazy situation. Mitro has been downed and Mongrel is left to fend for himself. The first notable thing Mongrel does is replace the enemy's wall with his own. In late game scrim, tunneling things gets hectic. Without control of your walls, you can get edited on from anywhere. So Mongrel surprises the enemy, overwhelming him with a shotgun drum gun combo. Often players don't expect you to push. You can totally tell Mongrel's opponent didn't expect to be shot in this scenario. Mongrel has no qualms using his launch pad to get to safety. With a storm rotation like this, Mongrel's in for a tough fight. He knows going for high ground is a no-go, so he looks to find himself a good spot where he can wait. He goes for a few shots and starts his rotation to circle. I'll be the first to say, that's some crazy fast tunneling. Practice in playgrounds since you'll need to learn some fast tunneling too, especially for these high level games. Mongrel decides to take a breather. Never be afraid to reload your weapons and reset the fight. Sometimes we get so caught up in rotating and pushing that we forget we should reload. Mongrel is quick enough to catch an enemy off guard, but instead of taking the 50-50 bloom fight, he resets his edit, saving himself. Now I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but Mitro marked the end game zone with his marker. That's what a good teammate looks like. Even while down, supporting your teammate is the right thing to do. Who doesn't appreciate somebody who's given everything they have to help you win? Mongrel gets a little hasty and decides to go for a kill, but he pays the price by losing track of the storm. Luckily, Mongrel's a quick thinker and he makes his way back, taking a lot of storm damage. Sometimes our decisions cost us. In this instance, he could have gotten killed had the enemy engaged him. You can say he got fortunate the enemy wasn't insane. Mongrel should have paid more attention to the storm. Mongrel decides to go all in. His eyes grow wide at the sight of the player on low health. He's looking for eliminations. He manages to secure the kill just in time to cover himself with a wall. Notice how Mongrel decides to rotate inwards before finishing off his last mini. Pro players are always ahead of the game, and in this instance, Mongrel felt like he didn't have time. He wanted to get to the safe zone ASAP. This is why players like Mongrel are so insane. He sees a player trying to get his wall. He reacts instantly, trapping his opponent in a pyramid and walls off the sides, leaving him to get skewered by two traps. Just look at that insane high octane power play. Often, the more creative player wins, and Mongrel's got all these tricks up his sleeves. Now, this shotgun fight was kind of risky, and if the enemy had a better shot, it would have been game over for Mongrel. But he felt like he had to take that fight, and he did. I mean, who am I to tell him though? Sometimes things just work out. Mongrel knows that with one player left, his enemy's attention will all be on him. He makes sure he's safe by covering all angles, using walls, and watching his surroundings. It's a common trait of high-level players to be super aware. 
Now this next part is just crazy. Mongrel gets stuck under his own buildings and has a storm on his tail. The enemy can easily pre-aim and wait for Mongrel to edit and then pop him in the face. Instead of panicking and pushing forward, Mongrel decides to edit through and place a wall to block him off, then proceeds to the right for a high ground retake. What an amazing play. Mongrel has an amazing spot on height. Things seem to be easy from here. However, Mongrel's not exactly healthy. He's got 64 health. One good pump shot could seal the deal, but he maintains composure. He uses a floor edit to land chip damage on the guy below, securing the game. All right, there are a few things I want you to take away from Mongrel's play here. Number one, make sure you own the walls. Make sure you place every wall around you, especially when you're turtling. Failing to do so can cost you the game. I mean, who wants to get jumped on out of nowhere? Number two, pay attention to the storm. Mongrel could have easily rotated another way, but decided to go for the kill while the storm was just inches away. These types of situations can cost you the game. And number three, practice makes perfect. Many of Mongrel's techniques seem out of this world, but trust me when I say nothing is easily gotten. Mongrel practices all of his building techniques, edits, and aim for hours on end. So take that advice and go into playgrounds or real games and practice nonstop. Let's take a look at yet another incredible clutch from Mongrel in the WC qualifiers. This time, we're going to learn an effective pre-aiming method as well as Mongrel's 200 IQ decision-making tactics. He pops off again in another solo versus duos. The sheer pressure placed on him is immense. Mongrel starts off in the sky with his teammate down yet again. Mitro, stop dying please. There are 22 players left and he has a solid loadout with all the essentials. An AR, shotgun, rocket launcher, and slurps. Instead of landing on high ground where it can get contested, he chooses an angle to the side in the safe zone. Mongrel knows, as a solo, it isn't worth fighting one versus two for height. He sees an opportunity for a kill and nearly manages to claim it. However, he loses the opportunity and is forced to withdraw. Mongrel knows that pushing in this scenario is sure to get him killed. Always look at your surroundings. Don't just push recklessly. We've seen time and time again what happens to impulsive plays. It doesn't end well. Don't do it. In one of our last videos, we showed how playing the circle as the last one to rotate is very advantageous. Here, we see Mongol display it in action. He sets his crosshairs to pre-aim on a target and smashes him with a 90 shot. Seems that player didn't learn how to tunnel correctly. Mongol hits his enemy from behind with a 200 IQ Kovacs flick. Now there's no way he could have hit that without Kovacs. Let's be real here. Mongrel is forced into a sticky situation and has to make a tough call. Either take a gunfight or push circle. He manages to get a stair up in his box with a trap and non-stop rotates to the zone. He makes it to zone with 21 health. By this time, most of us would have been shaking in our boots. The ability to emerge victorious in this circumstance is a wonder. Look at this lucky break Mongrel gets. He sees two players pushing into zone and pop, pop. There goes all his health worries. He's able to salvage up materials and is now set to dominate. In end game rotations, getting kills is crucial to maintaining your ability to win. Mongrel puts many Fortnite fundamentals into play here with his rocket launcher. Right as you shoot, make your move. With a single rocket, he earns the inner angle and breaks his enemy's box. I love how he always goes for chip damage after he shoots. This is a widespread practice used by a lot of pros and is the hallmark of a good player. I'm not sure if you noticed, but after Mongrel got the enemy low, he waited for him to make his move and then was ready for a pop shot. Again, we see another instance of rocket launcher fundamentals. He shoots his rocket, then goes for high ground. Now, this enemy is undoubtedly a good player because he doesn't want to surrender high ground to Mongrel. Persistence is the key. You can tell Mongrel doesn't want to give up the high ground, and you'll see it pay off in a few seconds. He waits to reload his rocket, and as he's about to go for a shot, his enemy jumps down on him. Luckily, Mongrel is a top player and can counter build quickly. Always be ready for anything. Much of Fortnite is surprise attacks, and you need to be ready for them. Fortnite is a very fast-paced game, and players like Mongrel excel at this sort of thing. Mongrel is challenging a full-fledged build fight. 
He makes smart moves by shooting and then backing off, until finally, he wins height. Mongrel wins the build fight because, well, he's Mongrel. And he's got that rocket launcher. With only three players left in high ground, Mongrel knows this is his game. He's free to rain down from above, and there it is. Mongrel isn't just a 14-year-old prodigy. He's more than that. He's able to turn some of the best players into mincemeat with ease. On the bright side, we have a few takeaways from this clip. Number one, be patient. We saw Mongrel in a situation where he could have easily W keyed to get a kill, but top players know certain kills just aren't worth it. You always need to gauge your situation and see whether an action will end well. Number two, utilize your loadout effectively. Mongrel showed us how using his rocket launcher can have incredible benefits. Don't just shoot and then reload. Shoot, make your move, or go for chip damage. The rocket launcher is one of the most powerful guns in the game. Use it if you have to. And number three, position yourself in a safe spot. Mongrel could have easily gone for high ground, but he chose to land at the side. That way he's not the focus and can reserve his materials. Top players know the repercussions for getting into certain scenarios, and you should too. Practicing is not easy, but Mongrel does it all the time. Check out this clip of how fluent he is at edits. This isn't something you can gain overnight. So as you guys can see, Mongrel is easily a top tier player with skills unmatched. Clutching two solo versus duo games in a qualifier tournament is not an easy task. There are many things that we can learn from players like Mongrel, from crazy builds and insane plays to great decisions. I really hope you learned something from this video, and remember, you can be like this too with some practice. See you all next time. If you want more great Fortnite tips and tricks, make sure to check out ProGuides.com. As always. Thanks for watching.